Hello, Kim Kim. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, go ahead and subscribe. Today, we're going to talk about 10 things that you must know before visiting London. Number one, when is the best time to visit London? There's no best time to visit London. Now, if you're in a budget, you might want to consider months of November and January. Hotels are cheap, flights are cheap. Now, on the other side, if you want warmer weather, like in the summertime, the hotels are going to go up, the, flight, the price of flights are going to go up. So you got to pick and choose and know when you want to visit London. Number two, the weather. The weather in London is super unpredictable. So guys, you're going to want to make sure that you're packed with layers and make sure that you take your umbrella with you everywhere. I suggest a compact umbrella versus a really large one so that you can take it with you handy wherever you go. Oh, London actually is pretty busy. Number three is the currency. The currency that they use is a pound sterling. Now for your best exchange rate for a pound sterling, you're gonna to go to a local post office and they'll exchange the money for you. Number four, we wanna talk about City Mapper. City Mapper is an app that you can download on your phone and it gives you the best mode of transportation for anywhere that you're going in the city. It can also provide you with the prices of all those different modes of transportation as well as Uber. Um, you can download these things ahead of time while you're using Wi-Fi. I personally like to screenshot them so I can have them with me if I, in case the Wi-Fi didn't work wherever I was. Number five, the best way to get around is to use the tube or they're sometimes referred to as the underground. It's not called a subway, it's not called a metro, but basically what do you do is you use a thing called Oyster Card. It's like a little card, kind of like a metro card from New York City. And you go to these machines, you'll fill it up and then you'll basically tap in and then you'll tap out. Now, once you tap in, you have to tap back out to get out. There's these little gates and it's gonna not let you out. So tap, you tap in and you tap out of it. I really like the tube. Did you like the tube? Yeah, the tube was good. Um, I thought it was really quick. Even when someone was sick on the tube, you know, they, they managed to just get everybody in and out and the tubes came about every three or four minutes. They were really quick. Um, and there's an other, uh, extra special gate for if you're traveling with your child or your suitcase that you can go through. So if you're traveling with your child um, under the age of nine, then you want to use just one Oyster card. Yeah, but one disclaimer to that with the tube is that during rush hour, they come every one minute. Number six, know the difference between a bar and a pub in the UK. Now, a bar is open more in the evenings and it's centralized around drinks, dancing, adult beverage, alcohol, all that stuff. Now, the pub is open for lunch, it's open for dinner, it's family oriented, you can bring your kids, yes. everyone can go to the pub and it's more. Number seven, tipping. You only want to tip if, it, if the service charge is not included on the bill already and it's never really necessary to tip when you're at the bar. <laughs> Number eight, let's talk about prices. Whenever you go anywhere in the UK and then there's a price that you see on a clothing item or if you wanna eat somewhere at a restaurant, that is the price you'll pay. There's no tax added, tax is already included in those prices, it's called like a VAT tax or whatever it is. So you don't have to worry about paying extra tax. So whatever you see is there, that's what you use um, with prices. I love that. Yeah, that's a good thing, I like those. Number nine, using the escalator. When you're using the escalator, you wanna always make sure that you stay to the right. So your bags, everything, your children, everybody needs to be on the right because the Londoners, they do not appreciate when you're just hogging up the way and standing on the left. And sometimes they get a little aggressive and get a bit of an attitude um, if you're not standing in the right place. It just makes everything more effective for everybody to keep moving, especially when it's rush hour. They're trying to get to work, you're trying to get to your next um, attraction or, or your next point in the city. So stay to the right of the escalator, trust yeah. me. And number 10, the black cabs. Do not take the black cabs. They are, they are very expensive. Your best bet to navigate the city, you might wanna take an Uber or you take the underground. But the, the black cabs you get in it, the meters just keep running and running and running and you're gonna pay a lot of money. So don't take the black cabs. They look super cool, but leave them alone. That's just, for a picture. Yeah, <laughs> just take a picture about the black cabs and that's it. Not like I can see air 